welcome back to the Cheap Clean Eats Kitchen. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make a super easy, super delicious, super healthy dessert recipe because we all have that sweet tooth now, don't we? So what you need today is a banana, half a cup of almond milk, a tablespoon of almond butter. I have maple almond butter here, but any type will really work and this one tastes so good. And a dash of cinnamon for garnish. All right guys, so first what you wanna do is grab your pan because this thing is gonna go in the oven. And now we're gonna sacrifice the banana. So I don't know about you, but I opened my banana like this, like monkey style, so I feel like that's right. I know a lot of people do it from the other side, but I just can't. I just can't, it's like it's unnatural. My banana just bends and has bruises. It's just really not fun. Okay, so let's carefully bring our little banana out, okay, because you want them to stay in one whole piece. Perfection. Okay, so he's right there. And now we perform the surgery. So all you're gonna do is slice him down the center, just like so. Perfect, just like that. So that we can create a slit for the goodies and the ingredients inside. Okay, and then now you open it up, just like that. Okay, so now we take the almond butter and you're gonna go ahead and Scoop some out. Just a tablespoon will do. Um, you don't need more than that unless you are a almond butter fanatic, which I know a lot of you guys are. Um, but just handle yourself, okay? Control, control, you don't need that much. All right, let's get this in here. And once it starts melting, oh man, guys, this is gonna be heaven in your mouth. You won't even understand, okay? This is absolutely delicious after um, your clean, healthy meal and just topping it off with a delicious, clean and super cheap dessert. All right, so we got our uh, almond butter inside. I'm just gonna snap him back together because he wanted to split. Okay, so this is the fun part. We are gonna wrap him up, okay? So take your foil, simply wrap it up to create a nice cover and like oven for the little guy. It's almost like a hot dog. Twist the ends a little bit like that so the air, the hot air can really circulate inside and it can bake. So now we're gonna place it in the oven for 15 minutes at 375 degrees. All right, let's go put it in. Let's dance. Uh -huh. Let's rage. I knew you were, you were gonna come to me. So you wanna play with my All righty, our banana boat is here and he is steaming. What's also steaming is also my almond milk, which I placed in the microwave for about one minute. To make sure it's steamy. Okay, so this is going to be such a blast in your mouth. I mean, I can't even wait, I can't wait. By the way, thank you to one of my popsters for sending me this. She actually hand knitted it for me because she saw that I was using um, a towel to hold things and she felt really bad for me. So thank you so much, much appreciated. <laughs> Steaming, perfect beauty. Look at that. That is ooey, gooey, sweet, mmm. All right, so carefully take the foil off of the banana, okay? And the banana's gonna be quite hot. The peanut butter, or the almond butter, is going to be melted as well. So this is gonna be a little bit tricky. I am now employing my handy dandy red spatula to help administer the transfer, okay? So you want to slide your spatula underneath our banana and then lightly take him over and put him right here in his bath of almond milk. Look at that. Hey, we're not done yet, we're not done yet. Okay, so now that he's in his tub, we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some cinnamon on top for extra flavor, just like so. Just like that. So before you get the pleasure of me indulging in this banana boat, this baby right here has 205 calories, nine grams of fat, 32 grams of carbs, and five grams of protein. So guys, Grab your spoons, let's go ahead and give this baby a bite. Wow, that was an explosion of sweet, salty, 
flavor in my mouth. Honestly, the banana brings such a creamy texture to it. Then you got the little grits from the almond butter sliding in between, and then just the sweetness from the almond milk to slush it all around. This is a winner. It is easy to make, it's cheap, it's absolutely delicious, and very healthy for you. If you guys need a little bit more sweetness, I would suggest to add a little bit of stevia into your almond milk. Otherwise, it is absolute perfection. Thank you so much for joining me today in the Cheap Cleanings Kitchen. Let me know in the comments below what other foods you want me to healthify, and I will see you next time. Train hard, eat well, and I'll see you later. Bye. Mwah.